The objective of this tutorial is to use geospatial analysis to make decisions about opening up new restaurants or it could be retail stores opening up new bank branches or airports. For this analysis, we use a data set consisting of Starbucks and McDonald's store coordinates in New York. So our tutorial consists of the following steps. We first compute the distance of the stores. Then we visualize the data on a map. We can then go further and compute the number of stores that are located in a given radius. And finally, we compute the closest and the farthest stores from Empire State Building. It could be any location, but for our tutorial, we have just chosen Empire State Building, which is there in New York. Let's first import our libraries. Let's run this code. And then let's read the data. Let's see what the data has. So this is the data we have, the latitude, longitude, the store, either a Starbucks or McDonald's store, and then the address of the store. Now we merge the latitude and longitude columns into one column called coordinates. This is just manipulation that will help us in uh, running this code. Then we obtain the latitude and longitude of the Empire State Building. So if you go to maps, Google Maps and look for Empire State Building. This is your Empire State Building. So these are your latitude and longitude for the Empire State Building. We can use these values here. And the first step is to compute the distance of the stores. So our data consists of all these stores, their latitude, longitude, their address and the coordinates. So now we'll try to compute the distance of each of these stores from the Empire State Building. That is the point we chose, Empire State Building. It could be any location. We are trying to look for an approximate center point of New York. So we compute the distance of each and every store from this coordinate. And uh, we use this function. We use the GeoPy library, which consists of distance function. This uses something called the Haversine distance to compute distance between two coordinates. So one is that of the Empire State Building and the other is that of the store coordinate. And then, so let's run this. And let's compute the distance. We compute the distance and store it as a column distance. There you have the distance for each and every store from the Empire State Building. And now we visualize this data on a map. For that, we use a Python library called Folium, which is a very good Python library for visualizing geospatial data. So here we give the location. This is the Empire State Building. It looks for two parameters, location and zoom start. So location tells you where you want to center the map. So this is where the map will be centered at. And then the zoom start tells you to what amount do you want to zoom into the map and then the following code tells you where do you put the marker so each and every store will get a marker for example the mcdonald's store will get a blue marker and if it's not a mcdonald's store starbucks would get a green marker and this function just looks for the latitude the longitude and the store name and then places the marker on the particular latitude longitude and for the given store, it gives the respective color. And that's what this function does. So then you print M. This is where the object was stored. Let's run this. So this is the map. And here you see cluster of uh, Starbucks and uh, McDonald's stores. So it must be centered around the Empire State Building. 
and since we had given a zoom start value of 10 this is how much were the map was automatically zoomed into and all the green markers you just click on them it tells you these are starbucks and the blue markers are the mcdonalds so we can see huge amounts of starbucks when compared to mcdonalds and also mcdonalds are located in the upper part of the map and we see more number of starbucks located in the lower part of the map now let's compute the number of stores located in a given radius for example we might want to know if you are trying to open a new branch of a starbucks store for example you will want to know how many stores are already there in that location how many mcdonald stores are there how many starbucks stores are still there do we really want to open a new store in that given area so to address those kind of questions we can compute the number of stores that are given that are present in a given radius for example here a radius of 10 kilometers it looks for all the stores that are there at a distance greater than 10 kilometers so we can run this code so these are all the stores that are there if you see the distance here it tells you is at a distance of 11 kilometers this is a distance of 12 kilometers so all these stores are there at a distance of greater than 10 kilometers and then you can also compute the closest and the farthest store for example we chose empire state building to be the center we can see which store is the farthest and which store is the closest to compute the farthest store you just group it by store and then on the distance column you aggregate it and find the maximum value and for the closest store again you group by the stores and uh, look at the distance which has the minimum distance this gives you the farthest and closest and then you can just combine merge these two data frames into one data frame let's run this and let's see which stores are there the closest and the farthest location so we can see the mcdonald store is at a distance of floating this is the farthest mcdonald store from the empire state building the farthest starbucks store is at a distance of 13.9 kilometers the closest store is at around 300 meters and the closest starbucks store is at around just 37 meters or something so this actually gives you a this also gives you a good idea if a store is really needed near empire state building from this it is pretty obvious there are so many stores nearby you have the competitor mcdonald then you have starbucks they are all nearby and so the number of stores are pretty clustered up around empire state building so this kind of analysis helps you make decisions on whether you want a new store and how far do you need to actually locate a new store is it really needed does uh, introducing a store there reduce the distance that a person has to travel to reach the store so you can use these analysis and then we can also map these four stores to look at how far they are from the empire state building using the same uh, code that we used earlier but here our data frame would be different we'll be using this df underscore new data frame let's run this code and there you go so you see with both the ends you have the starbucks as well as the mcdonald store these are the farthest stores farthest and the nearest stores 